Okay guys, we've got another new toy coming now, so... Just go down that ramp there mate, on the left, just down there, that'll take you out the same road. Yeah, just down that little ramp there. You'll come out on Duck End Road and then just turn right and then go back to the 40. Perfect, Kate. Okay. So what have we got here? Let's have a look. It's another drying crate. Uh, so I've ordered one which is twice as large, over two times the size of our existing ones, which are about half the size of this. And I've got these stirrup cups in here, so our potato turner can turn these up inside. We're gonna get about a ton of firewood in here. So it's going to be quite, quite an easy fill. It's going to fit the bucket. We're not going to have to drop any logs on the floor. So that's basically the reason that I bought this. I might get a few more of these because I reckon they're quite, quite a good size and we can stack them as well. So just be a lot easier, quicker to load up the kiln. So there's our crate nicely filled up. Um, it's a lot bigger than the other ones, about two times the size. So actually more than two times the size. So I'll see how that fits in the kiln. And I think I'll be ordering a few more of these. They're all right, I reckon. So that just gives you the size, a little bit of the scale of that new box. And it's so much easier to fill, so it's quicker, it can be easier to empty. So I'm pretty, I'll get another three in there. And um, gosh, you know, I wouldn't mind getting changing all of these over because demand for this firewood has just gone a bit crazy. So um, yeah, bigger is better basically, as the Americans say. Okay, that's four cubes of firewood stacked in there. And I'm gonna try and squeeze it into the dryer unit there. Sorry for the poor shot. So we'll just see if the machine's happy to lift it up and get it under. Let's see where we go. Gives you the difference there. You've got the wet logs on top and the dry underneath. You can see the colour difference. Um, but yeah, it uses up a lot more of the top space, so that's really good. And uh, yeah, as I said, just a bit more quicker to fill, really. So that's all right. Okay, guys, so we've got a lovely bit of rain just coming in here. Um, we chipped all that yesterday, we're getting into it. You can just see how much water is in there. Even on a wet day like this, it's steaming off. Um, we've been using our new drying area that Barry and Richard put in that block. Um, nice level on that this morning, uh, which was good. And um, the dryer is getting back into it. We've taken the log dryer off, and so we're back into drying wood chip. I don't know whether you can see all the steam coming off that uh, those trunks there so just there they're connected up so lots of drying happening there okay stacking it into the shed now um, we've got plenty of space in the shed so all of that behind hopefully will fill up nicely in there 
So that's our <coughs> finds pile from a, uh, an evening uh, drying. Our new drying box is working really well there. Uh, there's hardly anything that's been blown around, well, nothing at all, basically. Um, and we've got loads, loads of space in there. So, yeah, that's absolutely great. We're not going to have any problems now with the nice yard. Ray's just done all the yard, that getting all shitty with chips flying around. So, yeah, super happy about that. So, here's the wood chip that came off that. It's quite a kind of fine, stringy chip, but. That was because a lot of that was willow and um, we were chipping it quite fine, G30. Uh, this is the more standard size stuff. You can see just a bigger chip, not so much wispiness on it. Um, so yeah, that will get blended in with the rest of the pile and give a nice mixture for clients. Okay guys, we're just looking at that new drain that we put in. Ian's compacted all the top on top of the pea gravel. It's flowing in that far end, absolutely um, chucking it down here today. And we'll just have a look at the barrel here that's doing a great job. And there it is, it's pumping out the water. I don't know if you can see that. We put a pump in there and it goes into the wall and out into the field drain. So that, that's really working a treat actually to see that. Because normally all of that area there would have been underwater. So. It's a bit of a mess, but it's doing the job. And once we get the stone back down, it'll start to look quite nice again. Okay, Dave is just having a little go with his new toy um, on the largest bit of beach that we can find, one of the storm falls that's come down, which I couldn't put through the chipper because it was too big and the guy couldn't even uh, use his splitter on it. So we're just gonna take a look, see how it's getting on. Okay, Ray's over there, he's just, all of that pile there is fine. And um, one of the guys who does some of our haulage uh, wants some of it in the truck. So we're just coming up and down. Unfortunately, we had bad, well, fortunately in some ways, but we had an inch of rain here last night. Uh, and <laughs> it's a little bit of a nice ring for him. So uh, we're gonna see how much we can get in before uh, rain stops play, so to speak. Okay guys, we are now down at the poplar site where you saw the other week. Uh, and they're just sorting everything out here. Uh, it's a 14 ton we've got on with Tim. 
and his grapple. So he's just pulling all those together. He's got a lad there uh, doing all the soaring and he's doing the stacking and sorting out. And then he'll always have to come down and some of those are going to need cone splitting. Some of them will go straight into the chipper. Um, but yeah, he's certainly cracking on with the job now. So we'll go and have a look. Just loading here, but unfortunately the guy went down off the muck, and with so much rain in, um, he's got himself stuck. So we're going to have to try and use the telehander here to pull him out. Um, we'll see what happens if we can do it. Because it's pretty sticky there. Otherwise, I'll have to get the dump truck on it. So let's see. Fingers crossed. ton strap so it should hold and we're out okay <laughs> safely out now we're just loading them up with the wood chip vines and we've got another one down there all green hull trucks uh, so we had three on today and hopefully that will get rid of our pile of fines uh, which I think is going into some kind of mulch bedding uh, for some kind of um, yeah nursery I suppose or something like that but yeah there we are just to see if I can zoom in down there for you
nice pile there, ready to be processed. Got the waste logs there, ready for the chipper to come again. Ventro's going. We've got blades, the Terminator. Crazy thing logs for us. So guys, we're just down here in the quarry again, um, giving a little bit of stone for just the remainder of our yard area where we're going to start storing things. Um, so yeah, we put a lot of work on this ramp previously. I'll see if I can dig up an old video just showing you what we did there. And uh, Dave and Ray there. I just on the truck in the, the digger scraped up a little bit of stone just to go out into that area. Okay, we're just at the second lagoon here um, and we've got whites who bring material in from our local eddy plant. It's a, um, it's a waste food plant, so it's a much more punchy smell than our one, which is uh, kind of just, uh, just the maize. So that's our lagoon there for the maize one. And yeah, this really has a strong tang to it, uh, but it's rocket fuel for the crop, so it's great organic fertilizer. Um, they're getting up a little bit higher, but just in that far corner, uh, there's a pack that I need to do, so I've got to put the halt on these guys now. Uh, they've brought them about 40, 50 loads so far, and I can just get that patching done. I can get them back in to bring up the last little bit of the level. So we're just stockpiling more of our finds here, uh, ready for green hall to come and collect them when they want. So Ray's just checking the trailer's empty there. <laughs> he got a face full of dust, which probably wasn't very gratefully received. And um, if green hall don't come and collect, then um, we can always spread this on the land. It's good carbon to put back into the soil. Okay, so that's the final pile of wood chip finds. We had 96 tonnes out of there. There's still a little bit there left, as you can see. Um, but that was about a year of drying and screening and just tipping down here. Um, so it was nice to get it away. We got a little bit of money back for it. Um, it's not quite as, what you, as much as you buy it in for, uh, but then we're selling the chip for more. So it all kind of evens out. Um, and we may just be able to get one more load out of that, but we'll see. Otherwise that'll just get spread on the land in the spring.